Hi friends, I am so excited to come on today. I know it's been a little bit. This might be a little bit long, but I'll do my best not to make it super long. First of all, happy Mother's Day to each and every one of you. Every single one of us loves and nurtures somebody, some, some pet, anyone in our lives, no matter who it is. Um, so happy Mother's Day. <laughs> First of all, I'm joining in hashtag stamp play, which I host, and I'm also joining in hashtag stamping Sunday. Thelma Hall and Crafting by the Pond are the host of that open collab. Um, but first, I wanna share with you a beautiful card that arrived from a sweet friend. Her name is Jennifer Real. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, she's not currently uploading videos, but I will link her in my description box. And I do know she has an Instagram. Look at the sweet card. And I can tell that she did some stamping. Look at that. I love it. And it's a pocket card. And then she has added the sweet little tags. Isn't that cute? There's one even down in there. So precious card and then she's included all kinds of die cuts for me love the butterflies and they're very intricate she did some different colors for me and then look at that so pretty we've got hearts I love it Jennifer and then look at this tag you are utterly amazing look at the glasses Oh, and you did a great job with your coloring. I have to tell you that too. And she's got beautiful shabby chic fans. Oh my goodness. And it's got the hearts. What a pretty die. Oh, very pretty. And then she's got some little flowers and she did it in the same hearts. I have read her sweet note and I thank you, Jennifer. I treasure your friendship too. It means a lot to me. And I will keep that note private. And then look at it on the back of the envelope. Isn't that pretty? I mean, you can't tell, but it's got glitter. But let's look at her card once again. Yay, you're joining Stamp Play and Stamping Sunday, Jennifer, even if you didn't want to. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. I love it. Thank you so much for making this for me and including the die cuts. Um, I love it. Truly special. So just like you, my dear friend. So that is from Jennifer. And then in order to join in stamp play, and this is also hashtag new to me, which is hosted by Kimmy's Kitchen and more because I'm playing with some new stamps. This stamp is called Dollhouse. And this was gifted to me by Sweet Damaris, who is Blessed Hands A and C. You know I will link her. I showed this in some happy mail, and I was excited to give that stamp a try. <laughs> so, of course, I always start out by stamping out the image. I did this on the um, patterned paper. Uh, this is actually an envelope, so just plain playing around. Did it on some paper. I don't know if you've seen the, uh, I'm sure you have, sorry for the noise, the scrap paper packs from the Dollar Tree. So some of these pieces, like these, are from that. This one I'm not so sure. It's really shiny and I'm afraid if you don't dry it, it just is a smear, kind of a mess. But didn't do any coloring, but I did stamp her. So on this one, I did it a second time and then what I did is I put her on one of the bakery bags. So I stamped her on the colored paper and then I put that on the bag and then just added my trims, my flowers, my butterflies. Own who you are. And I thought that was cute. Can you see that okay? So that was um, my first project or my first stamp. Well, look at this one. I found this on eBay and look at you get nine of the cute little um, circles. So what I did, I started stamping out the Sweet Gorgeous Girls. And 
I enjoyed that stamp. I must say, um, maybe because they're thick, it really took a lot of ink. So I will be opening a new stamp pad that was gifted to me by my friend Janet, who is Sunflowers and Crafts. And I thank you, Janet. And I will be showing that in another video. I haven't opened it yet, but I definitely need to because like I said, I really used up a lot of ink. And I was trying to use it up before I open it, a new one. So just playing around, seeing how the images came out. I had some of these cute little envelopes. I started stamping on, on that. And then in that same paper pack from the Dollar Tree, you get some of these squares. I don't know what to call this board, um, but I did stamp her on that. And it came out. And then here's one with the colored paper I just kind of did. So just the images are ready for me. And then what I do with them, you know, color or go forward for projects, just get your ink out and keep stamping. So then I did a second bag like I did with this doll. I stamped her on that piece. I'm sorry, I seem unorganized. I stamped her on that board and then I inked around it and then I put it on the bakery bag, and then I just put my lace down. This is, says love and added a little bow. So even though I did a bunch of plain, I did accomplish two bags, and then I've got some stamped images ready to go. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so that is my fun share for the two stamping collabs. Beautiful friend mail. Wait, there's more. I say, since this is a special day for everybody, let's do a giveaway. This is a Creative Expressions clear stamp set designed by Sam Poole. Oh, I didn't even know that. And it's very elegant, I think. It's the envelope and the flourishes. Secret Garden. Oh, I love Secret Garden. It's a storyteller letter has a little butterfly it says art post and it has this little floral creative expressions makes beautiful stamps here's the back sorry for any glare seven stamps i think that's about it oh but don't you just love the envelope you could do so much that'd be cute for junk journals i i just think you could do a lot and i'm not even going to try and say what it says at the bottom okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is our giveaway today. Must be 18 years of age or older. I appreciate that you're a subscriber. All you have to do is leave a comment and you will be entered in the giveaway, open to US and international. That's why I kept it um, very, very simple, this giveaway, because that way I can include international subscribers too. It's very flat and it, you know, it shouldn't be too bad for mailing purposes. I want to say thank you. Thank you to my subscribers, to my new subscribers, my old subscribers. Thank you for coming around and commenting and watching my videos, friends. I do appreciate you. Uh, I hope that I, I let you know that because I never ever want to forget that or I don't want you to feel that I don't. I know we all get busy. We can't watch everyone's videos and now I'm blabbing on. So I hope that you're excited to enter. I would love for you to enter. There always be more giveaways. Why do I do these? I love to share with my crafty friends and I'm having fun with these stamping collabs and I'm encouraging you to have some fun. I'm not saying you have to join in them. Nope, not at all. I will never pressure that, but um, I'm getting over my drawbacks of stamping. So I'm just trying to spread the love. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Big hugs, and we'll be back to pick a winner. Bye, friends.